What I want to show you is how you can take data that's similar in different worksheets and workbooks and consolidate them all into one place. So I've got a shopping list here. You can see I've got this fruit and vegetables here and how much I want to purchase. In another table over here on another sheet, I've got a similar list. It might have been created by someone else and we just want to consolidate them together. So that's how many they need. I've also got it in another workbook. So if I go to window here, I've got a sheet here called Consolidate Data 2, and you'll see it's similar. Some of the products are the same, some aren't. They've got different quantities, and I want them all in one place and added together. So I'm going to show you how to do that and how you can link it as well so that if it changes in a different spreadsheet or workbook, it updates here as well. Down at the bottom, I've got a sheet called Consolidated Data. Now, I don't have to put it on another sheet, but I'm going to. So I'm going to show you a few different ways of how this works. So what I need to do is go into Data over here on my ribbon. So I'm going to click on Consolidate, and up comes the dialog box. Up at the top is the function. So do you want to sum them all together? Do you want to get a count, average? the maximum or minimum, that's the highest and lowest, the product which multiplies them together, count the numbers and you've got various statistic ones down here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose that reference and all I need to do is highlight the data. The select button here allows you to choose it from a different workbook that might not be open, but actually it does need to be open. So we're just gonna do this a different way. So let's go and choose that first bit of data. So I'm gonna click here on the spreadsheet data one. I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to include the headers at the top here as well. I then click on add by clicking on this plus button here and it puts it into this references list that's going to appear here. I'm now going to go to data two. I'm going to highlight that. It's actually already highlighted it because it happens to be exactly the same amount of numbers as I had for the other spreadsheet. So let's just click on plus for that. To get the data from the other workbook, which has to be open, I'm gonna to go to window, because I've already got it open. Choose consolidate data two, or whatever your spreadsheet is called, and I'm going to highlight it here. I'm going to add that. Now, I could link these, and I'm gonna do that next time by clicking on here. I could use the labels in the top row Yes, let's do that, it's the item and quantity. And I want to use the labels in the left column and they do change. So let's click on that and let's click on OK. And there you have it. It has missed out on the item label at the top there. So I'm just going to undo this. I'm going to do this again, but this time, let me just put it in here. Item, quantity, and we're just gonna do this slightly differently. I'm just gonna do this very quickly. So let's hit consolidate. All of these are in here. Now, if I want to start again, I click on it. I click on the minus button and that gets rid of each one. So this time, I'm not going to include the top row. I've unticked it here. I'm going to now go to my, let's click on reference here. Let's go into data one. I'm not including the top row this time click on add, go to data two, it's selected it again, let's click on that, let's go to window, consolidate data two and highlight that, add it, and then let's click on OK. And you can see this time it's put it all in here and you can see it's added it all together. So oranges, 50, let's just see if that's correct. Data one, it says six, data two, it says four, and over here, I'm gonna guess it says 40. Exactly. So let's go back to here. Okay, that's great. That's worked really well. It's done exactly what I want. But if any of the data changes in any of the other cells, it doesn't update here. So it kind of is a snapshot of the data. Let's just add a new sheet here. Now I'm just gonna put the headings across the top here. I'm going to do the same again, but this time I'm going to link it and you'll see the difference. So let's go to consolidate. 
I'm going to quickly choose them. So let's remember that it's the left column. I may as well choose that first. Let's go to data one, that sheet and add it. Data two, let's add it. And let's go to the other workbook. Let's add it. And this time, let's click on this create links to source data. Let's do that. And let's click on OK. And it's done it. And you can see it's included it here. Let's just go to data one and increase the number of oranges there. So the total before was 50. So let's make this, let's make that 20 there. That should increase it significantly. And that's made it 64. So you can see it now updates. But there's something else here that you may notice, and that is some rows that are hidden down the side. It goes from row 1, 5, 8, 10. And you can see there's little plus things down the side here. And this is where you get grouping in Excel. And you could just click here, and you can see what it's done. I'm just going to expand this column here. And you can see it's got oranges, and it has taken the data from that sheet, data two, and this sheet here, two separate sheets. So it's only telling you the workbook here. And you can see it's taken 40, 20, and four, and added it together. I can click on this minus sign to collapse it. At the top, you've got the different levels. So level one is what you're seeing now. Level two expands everything so you can see how it arrived at that data. And if I want to go back to just seeing basically the summary, which is level one, I can just click on that one at the top. So now this is all linked together. So the first one kind of did it as a snapshot, but this way it actually links it to the source data. So if anything changes, it updates here. Hope you like that. So Excel's got lots of useful tools when it comes to data. Two recent ones I've done is about removing duplicates and the other one is flash fill and there's links for those below. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay safe.